Hi, this is Ann with Gideon Gardens, and this is the third step in the Bokashi composting process, um, making your own lactobacillus bacteria to inoculate your compost with. So this has been set in about two weeks. Um, the curds have separated from the serum, and yeah, it's pretty hard. So. I'm just taking this off of the top and it does smell like a strong macaroni and cheese most people I don't think the odor would bother them it's kind of grossing me out right now but uh, I've been a vegan for going on two years now and I've lost my taste for cheese and the smell of it I don't like it either but anyway so we're going to get this out and there's some little pieces broken up in there that I will I'm gonna go get a funnel and a, some cheesecloth and strain that out and uh, I'll be right back okay so I got all that strained out um, this is the curves that I took off of the top of it, and this is how much serum I ended up with, which is actually quite a bit. I only had that much molasses. Um, get it down here so you can see it. So, to make this shelf stable for three years, you add half and half the serum and molasses. So, I'm going to dump that in there, and I'll mix it up uh, later and get some more molasses later and this is also stable for three years you just have to put it in the refrigerator so that's what I'm going to do no, I can't get the lid off but anyway um, this is what you will use to inoculate your newspaper or uh, wheat bran or rice bran to uh, put in your compost bucket so I don't have any newspaper right now. I'm waiting on some to come home with hubby and I will get it shredded up and uh, make the make my first batch of um, newspapers, you know, inoculated newspapers and that'll be the next step. So see you guys later. Thanks for keeping tabs.